I was born in LA around eighth grade. I moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is actually the year I started DJing. Turns out I ended up going to high school at uh, Taylor Alderdice High School, which might sound familiar to some people. You know, Wiz Khalifa, Taylor Gang, you know, everything like that, Rostrum Records. It comes from my homies, uh, Benji and Artie from, uh, from Pittsburgh started Rostrum Records. As I was coming up as a DJ, like after I went to high school in Pittsburgh, I went to Boston and I was on the radio doing my thing. And they're like, yo, we started this label. We just signed this kid Wiz. Wiz was still in high school. Like voice was still high. Like he was, you know, he was like a teenager still. And um, they were like sending me these records. And I was like, probably one of the first DJs outside of Pittsburgh to play Wiz like on, on the radio and like push him. And I was working for undergroundhiphop.com at the time and I would do mixtapes and I would throw the Wiz tracks in there and I was really like championing Wiz outside of Pittsburgh, you know, early, early in the game because my boys, you know, from, from Rostrum Records, that was their dude. So I had an outlet, I was DJing, I was like, let's support Wiz and like get that cracking. And then years down the line, as Wiz started bubbling up more and more, they reached out and I, and I was DJing for Wiz um, for a, a short period of time. Um, while I was living in New York City, actually after Boston, I moved to New York and then, you know, did a string of big shows for Wiz. And uh, it's just been crazy to see how he's progressed and just like now he's just an iconic rapper and you know mac miller as well grew up in the same neighborhood as me was like family friends like i didn't even know this till after mac was like really popping my parents were like oh yeah mac used to come over for like passover dinner and like he'd be running around like literally like five years old and i was like because i'm much older than mac and he's like more like my younger brother's age and I'd be DJing because I was still DJing at the time and I guess like I would be up there doing my thing and Mac was like infatuated with hip hop even at that point. But um, it's just funny how things have come for full circle and that, you know, Mac and Wiz just all being from my same high school and essentially same neighborhood is just like kind of taking over, you know, rap and I'm doing my thing as a DJ on a worldwide level. So it's just been crazy. African Bombada was sitting shotgun grabbed the wheel and basically saved all our lives. The problem is these kids don't have fear of consequence because they didn't get spanked, they didn't get disciplined when they were when they were growing up. Because the studio to me is a temple, it's sacred. It's only for those people that, that are working on the specific project and task at hand. If I wouldn't have lost my phone or if I wouldn't have lost my Blackberry, I would have been in that van. And who's to say where I may have been sitting when the shooting happened and whatnot. 